Good afternoon one and all. In this session we are going to learn some of the basic features of tabular and by combining all the basic features we are going to perform one case study on dual axis, shared axis and synchronized axis for a company sales data in tabular. So coming to the contents, the show me option, the mark types option, the color, size, shape and the label options in tabular. By segregating all these options we are going to perform one case study. So let me open my tabular first. So in my tabla, I am going to connect to a file. So in my file, I am going to connect it to sample superstore data source, which is a predefined data source in tabla. So I am going to select this one. So in this sample superstore database, I am going to drag and drop certain things in the tabla dashboard. So let me say in the first option or in the first one, I am going to drag the sales on the rows option. And I am going to drag the profit on the sheet one itself. This type of dragging is called blended axis. That is, we are going to blend the two axes here. So let me drag and drop the profit here. So here the profit was came. Now here I am going to perform certain actions. That is right click on the profit. I am going to select an option called synchronized axis. This synchronized axis will make the values segregated in a two different manner. Now here I am going to perform the options like right click on the profit. I am going to select the mark type as square. So here you are having an option called text, bar, square, circle, shape, line, polygon, Gnat bar, area, pi, field map and density. We can select any of the options here. So here I am going to select my first option as bar. That is I am going to perform the bar chart. Similarly, I am going to select the marking of the sales also as bar. So let me right click on this and I am going to select the mark type as bar here. Now coming to the options here that is color, size, label, detail and tooltip. Let me select the option called size and I am going to reduce the size. So here you can clearly see that the size was reduced here. Similarly, we can select the labels also. If at all we are going to select the show mark labels, it will show the marking of the labels. That I will demonstrate in the next session. Now in this, I am going to select an option called size and I have reduced the size and I am going to exchange the profit here. So let me uh, replace the profit here. So the profit was replaced here. So we can replace the profit also. So here you can clearly see that both profit and some of the sales was blended here. If at all we are going to select the show labels option, it will show the labels here. That is here it will show the corresponding value of the sales in the graph. So this is the first option. Now I am going to select the second model. That is for this I am going to select the another sheet. So in the same sheet also I am going to select the same sample superstore database. Now in this also I am going to drag the sales on the rows option. Now I am going to drag the profit also in the rows option. So sales on rows and as well as profit on the rows. Now here I am going to select an option called selecting the dual axis. So let me say I am going to select here I am going to select an option called dual axis. So when once the dual axis is selected two types of axis will be activated. That is right click on the pane of the profit and select the dual axis option. Now right click on the profit and select the synchronizer axis here. So right click on it and select the mark type or let me say I am going to mark it as bar. So first here I am going to select it as synchronizer axis. The synchronizer axis was done. Now here we are going to perform another action that is we are going to drag and drop the order date here. So let me drag and drop the order date in the columns option. So here you can clearly see that the marking of the order order date whenever we are going to drag and drop in the column we can clearly see the increasing and decreasing of the sales and as well as the profit also we can see the increasing and decreasing. Now right click on the sum of the profits and select the mark type as bar. So right click on the profit and I am going to select here mark type as let me select control Z. So mark type as bar. So here you can clearly see that the profit of the sales was increased from 2015 to 2018 in a bar manner. That is based on this graph, the corresponding graph was displayed, displayed here. So this is one type of the graph and this is another type of the graph. And this is the second model. Now coming to the third model, I am going to take the another sheet here. In this another sheet, I am going to drag and drop the date value that is the order date in the columns. So let me select the order date in the form of months here. So I am going to select the months. So that is let, let me know in which month the total sale was more and which month the total sale was less. So based upon the year, the previous graph was done. That is previous worksheet and based upon the months, this is the second worksheet. Now select an option called sales on the rows. So let me say sales on the rows. And similarly, profit also in the options. So let me say the profit was here. So let me, we can blend it here or we can blend it in the rows value. So here I have selected the profit here. So here you can clearly see that from January to December, you can clearly see that increasing of the sales of the profit of a company. 
Now we can also select the discount also. So let me take the discount also in the sheet. So this is an option called blended option that is blended. So here you can clearly see that for which month that is like January, February, the sales was decreased and, and uh, March, the sales was increased. So here you can clearly see that that is the profit and this one is the discount. So discount was overall for all the months, the discount was same. If at all there is a variation in the discount, the graph will be displayed in a different way. This is the third one. Let me select the fourth option also. So by combining all these sheets, we can perform one worksheet or one storytelling in Tabla. So here we are going to perform one dashboard. So in the sheet four also, I am going to select the order date. So let me select the order date in the columns option. And similarly, I am going to select the quantity here, quantity first in the rows option. And similarly, I am going to select the profit in the blended, blended, blended column and also the discount also in the blended column. And here you can clearly see that the quantity as well as rows and as well as the profit and discount. So let me select the label and I am going to show marking of labels. And whenever we are going to select the mark labels here, you can clearly see that the marking of the labels that is the values of a particular graph. Similarly, whenever we are going to select the color, we can edit for a different color. So let me select one color. So here I am going to, uh, for a profit, the different colors was applied automatically. If ever we are going to uh, reset, the colors will be reset here. So here apply and I am going to click on OK. The values will be different colors. So whenever we are going to select the size option, the size will be increased for a graph. And coming to the label, as I already mentioned, if at all we are going to select the show marks label option, the marks of the labels will be displayed. The detail will be clearly indicates the measure values of a columns in a tabula. And tooltip also, the tooltip consists of different types of orders. So here we are going to select the tooltip so that it will show the horizontal and rectangle that is vertical axis in a graph. So these are the options in a marks and if at all we are going to select a filter option, it will select the corresponding filters. If at all we are going to select the filter or we are going to select the highlighter, etc. So here we have combined four types of graphs and here also I am going to select the show labels clearly and for sheet two also I am going to select the show labels and for sheet three also I am going to select the show labels. Now finally, I am going to open a dashboard. So let me select my dashboard. In my dashboard, I am going to drag and drop all the sheets here. That is sheet one, sheet two, sheet three and sheet four. So here I'm going to uh, re, uh, re advocate or readjust this one. So let me readjust this one here. And this one also let me readjust this one. And here you can clearly say that I'm going to ch change the size. Let me make the size as full screen. Yes. So here I'm going to uh, downfall. That is I'm going to de, de highlight the show me option. And here I'm going to select if any further screen also let me shake a generic desktop. So here you can clearly see that the sheet two, sheet one, sheet three and sheet four. If at all we are going to re-edit this one or we are, we are going to rename also here. So let me, I am going to double click this one. I am going to rename it as, uh, let me say, take it as sales data, sales data. I am going to click on OK. So this is the sales data and this one is the profit data of a company. So let me type it as profit data. And here this is the measure of a sheet three as an order date. So let me resize this one. Uh, yeah, here you can see, clearly see the order data and as well as order data. This is based upon the profit and as well as discount and this is based upon the quantity. So this represents the overall company data of a case study which includes the overall increase of sales and overall increase of a profit and overall increase of a quantity of a value and overall increase of a discount. So in this way, we can use the options like color, size, label, detail and tooltip and by summing all these options we can perform one dashboard of a company sales. Thank you.